Shalom. Let's see if I have the uh, audio portion up. Yeah, okay, now we do. Shalom. My name is Yeshua Yaakov uh, ben Avraham. I'm making this video from Jerusalem, and this is um, it's uh, time to turn the page, or it's about time, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, we've got to tell the truth. Okay, so we came to Israel in 1987, and um, somehow um, our entire lift got uh, sequestered in Haifa. Nine room house, about thirty-five, forty thousand dollars of property, uh, and um, we've never seen it since. And the insurance wouldn't pay because it was delivered. Well, we found out that uh, it was stolen, and they were after the patents. Uh, they were they were searching for the microfiche. Uh, bottom line is, uh, I was solicited by the chief scientist, uh, the former professor of Levy, and. Uh, Max Fisher of blessed memory, great guy, give you two nickels for two times any day of the week, and a bunch of other people, BB included. Anyway, I came to Israel, and um, in a short time it was very clear to me that, uh, you know, there's a saying in Israel, you know, if you're in Israel more than five minutes, you don't have the friars, you're the friar. Well, uh, they really wanted uh, a, a rerun of uh, Jonathan Pollard, only by an order of magnitude. Um, the intellectual property uh, for the new economic paradigm uh, and the author and so that's what they were after and that's a big prize uh, well uh, the good news is uh, uh, two nights ago we attended Hoopa in the Belzer uh, community and uh, we uh, uh, I received the Abmors the, uh, the Belzer Rebbe with the Abmor uh, the, his blessing and so it's uh, been conveyed uh, and committed to the uh, religious community um, uh, that will begin with uh, the Belzer and will incorporate all of the other Haredi communities in Jerusalem and in, in all Eretz Israel and as well as in the diaspora uh, to uh, end the, uh, the bias. Uh, there, there. Let's see, in Israel the, po the political system is, uh, you know, you get a lot of spins, you know, in the diaspora. But there was only one constituency. Uh, let's see, uh, there were three hatreds uh, of the uh, of the uh, the bureaucracy, the politicians of the bureaucracy, uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the 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 most hated is the religious, uh, and some say it's the Americans. Okay, uh, and uh, so in the Palestinians, so we're we're, uh, we're uh, two out of three. <laughs> How lucky I am. Anyway, I lost my entire nine-room, uh, the furnishings of my nine-room house shipped here. Never seen, didn't collect any insurance, and uh, I refused to, um, shall we say, to play the game, to cooperate, and uh, I just simply stayed out of it. And so I'm fixing this because uh, there's a there's a kind of a problem here. Okay, and uh, okay, I'm back. So I simply refused to play the game and to cooperate. And uh, sorry, what you hear is dip, drip, drip. <laughs> uh, and uh, so the result was uh, I was denied at the Datsud. I'm not allowed to work, uh, uh, not allowed to breathe, not allowed to eat. Uh, they brought a show trial, uh, convicted me of uh, God only knows what, uh, you know, Bolshevik Central, uh, and then held it over my head to try to coerce me to be a good Bolshevik. And, uh, and then when it suited their purposes, uh, they put me in prison for 86 days. And uh, so uh, I had two parking tickets in America, and I'm Jack the Ripper in Israel. Well, wonderful. They had uh, some young upstart uh, uh, spying in my company uh, from inside. And... Uh, And when he was, when he was discovered, uh, he was sent out. And uh, so, what else? What other things have they done? Oh yes, so uh, they. Uh, my wife and I got married uh, about ten years ago, uh, uh, and uh, by no coincidence, uh, she uh, was married to the man who worked for me. Uh, for years, and she informed me that he was spying, and she divorced him. And a couple of years later, we got married. Uh, so, what a blessing! We have two beautiful boys. Uh, they kidnapped her three children. Uh, 
so we've been through quite a bit and uh, she's disabled and uh, so they canceled her disability so that we couldn't get a reduction in the our known and municipal rates we couldn't get our uh, you know we we spent uh, the better part of the last two decades in Bolshevik courtrooms being uh, denied our rights our liberties uh, we've had uh, let's see in the last uh, three months we had uh, uh, 10,000 shekel uh, 5,000 shekel and today uh, another 2,300 shekel uh, out of taken out of our bank account well strange how that works uh, why? Because there's a communist, this communist country, they have a thing called Hotsa Puel, and the municipality said we didn't pay the Arnona uh, rates. Well, they're absolutely telling the truth. We were entitled to an 80% discount for Sarah's disability, and they refused to give it. So we insisted upon it, we said we can't pay unless you do. And so we've had to file a, a <laughs> they went and took all the money and said, no, you have to pay, a, you know. And uh, uh, they have not allowed me to work. They they don't allow me to have an identity card. That's a dot. So keep me on the back foot. You see, uh, I should spend my life in courts and defending. And this is a, this is a communist country, all of the toe. and it's a disaster. They've uh, and in this context, for twenty, in this madness uh, of these flaming, flaming, ins most insightful people on the planet, this is really <laughs> give me a break. God. There's only, I th you know, I have nightmares. If I had to live in this country, in the Gaza or in the West Bank, as a Palestinian, <laughs> so it could be worse. Uh, anyway, uh, we've had uh, all of our rights, no identity, nothing, okay? And, uh, and then I got my Social Security, and they had, s wink, somebody stealing that, and, uh, and oh, never ends, okay? And uh, so the bottom line is, control all of the tub. So let me see, now let's come to cases. The bottom line is really simple. You know, we're told, uh, the Jewish agents Board of Governors, they said, oh, there's a new page, you know, there's a new paradigm. And, uh, he hasn't got a clue what a new paradigm is. Folks, the new paradigm is the East-West Convergence Model, Humanomics. Uh, it's central organizing principle received. I'm the author of the trilogy, Humanomics, 2,500 pages, a few hundred graphics. What is it for? The uh, East-West systems have both collapsed because of the collapse of the local reality globally began 18 years ago. And receive it to give is what replaces the old uh, uh, model of exile, the anthropologic, psychologic, sociologic model of man's mind was given to receive, I give, I get. That's collapsed, it's finished. It's replaced by receive it to give. I'm the author of receive it to give. Okay, and uh, it's the new cognitive behavioral science research, and also I'm the author of the new economic paradigm, Yemen's other paradigm is the uh, central organizing principle of the world's new economy, which is integration of labor, identifying information in classical terms, the new agent transformations. And this is the person, the, the zeitgeist, who has been blessed to bring uh, the collapse of the local reality in Israel is the end of Zionism, what comes after it, humanomics. And the zeitgeist, uh, the spirit of the generation, the one blessed, the closest to God, and the one who's the leader of the largest Jewish community in the world. That's the halakha of Judaism, the robe, the majority. I'm the leader of the North North Majority. I lived in two rooms, been murdered, pummeled, stole, robbed, libeled, imprisoned. Look, I think you're getting the idea what they think of the zeitgeist, of the leader, the real leader of Israel. They they murder him, okay? And, uh, you know, so uh, I've had Ruach HaKodesh since I was a very young man. So go up to Israel, and uh, but they won't listen to you. That's what he said, the boss. And I said, Lama, in my lit palel, I asked why. And they said, because, it doesn't because they don't listen to me. Well, after 22 years, I have a full experience. <laughs> they don't listen. They don't listen to God. They don't listen. They don't know who they are. They're, they're an identity crisis. And all they do is run around the, with their backside glued to their seat in the Knesset and, uh, and see what they can get next. Uh, if they can't get it, they'll rob it or steal it or libel. Or, uh, and uh, they're a specious lot. And they're not to be uh, relied upon or trusted in anything. This crap about, uh, sorry, nonsense, that the largest concentration of Jews is in Eretz Israel, rubbish. Seven, eight hundred thousand uh, in North America. And anyway, thank you. I'm Yoshua Yaakov Ben Avraham, uh, and uh, appreciate you listening and your help and your support. And uh, let's get on with what has to be done.